Alright, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at how to install Liberation. Uh, this is going to be just a vanilla OS, so let's take a look. Right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to download this from my Dropbox. Uh, this contains uh, two files, the um, Steam CMD and the Altus file itself. This is KP Liberation, uh, for those of you that do want to know. And yeah, right, let's get into it. Right, so first thing you're going to do is you are going to go to wherever it is that you want to install this. So if you want this on your C drive, then uh, just click into your C drive and make a new folder. Call it um, Armor, f uh, Armor Free Server. Hit enter and then click into it. Uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to drag and drop the Steam CMD into there. We're going to open it up. It's going to start doing its thing. And in a minute, it's going to ask you to. Well, here we go. Right. So it, this this will depend on how quick your PC is as well. Um, if your PC is slow as fuck, then obviously it's going to take a while for all this to load up and stuff. Right. So once it's done, it will say OK, and then it will say Steam at the bottom. Excuse me. That is um, when you'll know it's done. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to want you're going to want to log in with your credentials. So you're going to press. Uh, you're going to type login, and then space. And then uh, whatever your credentials are. So if I, I don't know, like uh, Uncle Bob, uh, sorry, that's not Bob. Uncle Bob, um, sixty-nine, and then whatever your password is, you know, password. Um, but yeah, th then you would hit um, enter. Um, obviously, I'm not going to type in my credentials because obviously. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want you knowing my credentials, but um, yeah, this this will be your um, Steam credentials. Um, so whatever they are, just go ahead and type them in. Obviously, make sure there's a space in between them both. Um, I'm gonna obviously do mine right now. Uh, one thing I will say is, um, obviously, if you type in your credentials and you use Steam Guard, it will ask you for your Steam Guard as well. Um, just go ahead and um, you know, get get your passcode of that and then type that in hit, um, uh, w when it tells you to um, put that in you'll hit um, obviously after this part when you press the login and then put your credentials in you'll press enter then it'll ask you for the steam guard and uh, for the steam guard uh, digits whatever they'll be and I think it's normally around six, five or six digits uh, just go ahead and um, type them in press enter again and Bob's your uncle will get on to the next bit in a minute right just hold on guys and I will just um, put all my stuff in. Uh, just give me two seconds. If I can remember what it is. And my Steam Guard password. Oh, you can all hear that, it's just gone off. F. Right, so once it's done that, um, just to let you know as well, Steam Guard will um, log you out of your. Um, it will log you out of your um, actual Steam itself. Uh, if I drag mine over, look, as you can see, it says disconnected. Um, just go ahead and leave that for the time being. We'll just put that under there. Um, you want to log back into this after you've done everything. So, as you can see, I've kind of moved all my stuff down um, just so then uh, I've, I've hit enter a few times. I've put in my Steam CMD, um, my Steam CMD, my Steam, um, uh, um, uh, my Steam Guard uh, password. Uh, just above this. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to type. Um, uh, let me think. Yep. Uh, right. We're going to type uh, app. So this is higher case. And then underscroll update. And then space two three three seven eight zero. And then space and then validate. Oops. I first spell it right. There we go. And we're going to hit enter. What this is going to do, it's going to start downloading all the stuff. If you can see over on the um, side here, it's going to start downloading all the files for Armor Free. Um, obviously, this number right here is the Armor Free number, the 233780. Um, yeah, we'll just wait for this to do. 
um, obviously this like I said before this will take as long as you, your computer is um, you're know, like um, yeah, com you, your computer speeds vary you know if you if you've got a really good computer then it will take two minutes you know my, mine normally takes about a couple minutes as you can see it's going through nicely 30% almost and once all this is done you'll have your own liberation to play on um, obviously you can play with friends and you can play um, on your own as well if you want obviously bearing in mind that this is on your home network this isn't a you, know, you can have this as a um, dedicated server but I probably wouldn't advise that because everybody be, um, you'll have random people playing off of your own IP and I don't think we really want that just in case you get all wankers and stuff on your server and yeah they start DDoSing you and stuff if you ain't got no DDoS protection on your routers and stuff then you're gonna have a hard time with your internet and plus if you've got kids like I do they use the internet a lot so you want to kind of cut that shit out <laughs> or else they'll be moaning that they can't use the internet some fucking cunts DDoSing you because they didn't like the fact that you didn't have a, a scope in there, ten times scope, or a scope about night vision. As we all know, armor does bring a lot of bellings. Right, eighty percent. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh yeah, that's six minutes there. Nearly seven minutes for the video. So. Might try and chop these bits down if if it's too long, and then just skip these parts. Maybe we'll see. Ninety <coughs> percent. Yeah, this is going to be um, part one as well, guys. Uh, I'm going to do. Um, a couple of different videos on how to like add the mods and um, how, how to set it up as well because uh, excuse me this is completely different from how, how you would do it through the normal A3 launcher right, 99.9 99.9999 <laughs> it will do in a second guys don't worry grabbing those extra files all about the extra files there we go right so what we're going to do now is we're going to type exit and we're going to press enter right so that's it as you can see here this is our armor free folder this is what we've just downloaded uh, this is all the shit that was inside of it and what we're going to do now is we are going to open uh, go, go in this folder here the uh, steam apps we're going to go in there and we're going to go in here and we're going to go in here and this this is our armor free folder right so what we're going to do here we're going to go into mp missions we're going to copy and paste uh, this file right here into here and oh that's one thing i did forget i forgot the um right, let's just grab one quick Ooh. Right, so what you're going to want as well, I'll make sure that this is in the... You need a TADAS as well. I've got all of that, TADAS. Um, I'll just download one real quick. I'll make sure that's in this folder as well. Obviously, I know the Steam, Steam CMD isn't in there at the moment. Right, so, give me that. There we go, right. Bit of around tip this, guys. Right, so, right, what we're going to do now is we are going to open up the TADAS folder and we're going to copy and paste TADAS straight in here. So, this this is in your um, in the folder that you was in, the Armour Free folder. If we go back a couple steps, um, obviously this is the folder that we um, created originally, the Armour Free server. Uh, we went in there, this is where we dragged the Steam CMD and then it created all of our folders. Uh, then uh, we... Uh, we need to go to the Steam apps, then common, then armor free server, and then this is the actual server itself. Uh, then you just go ahead and drag and drop the TADAS folder straight in. 
Um, also, what we did in here was we um, dragged and dropped the Altus uh, liberation file in here as well. So what we're going to do now is we are going to open up Tadas, which is right here. Um, next thing we're going to do is we are going to call, uh, call this uh, liberation. Uh, call it Altus. And if you want to put a password, you can put a password in. Um, if not, then just leave it. Obviously, uh, here you're going to want to change uh, your max players. I think there's around 36 um, units that are playable. Um, once you've done that part, you don't need to touch anything else. If you do, um, you might want to click this actually, the um, pre present bat battlefield. Uh, keep, keep that one ticked. Don't bother about this um, uh, auto in it. Uh, just tick the top one. Uh, this UPNP, this is if you want um, uh, like your friends and stuff, you'll need to tick this if you want your friends um, to be able to play with you. Uh, this is just what allows people to join you. Um, this, bearing in mind, this does allow randoms as well. So if you, know, if you don't want randoms, put a password in there, guys. Um, or else you'll, like I say, you'll get a bunch of bell ends on there uh, that will just come in and wipe everything out and yeah you, you get people that will just load in with hacks and stuff and I've had it before it's a bunch of shit but right next thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here and this um, part right here we're going to click on it and we're going to scroll right down this should take you into the uh, folder that we've created and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the top one uh, the armor server uh, application we're going to open and that's going to put your directory straight in there of what it's going to start up with. We're going to hit save. Yes. Uh, the rules we ain't going to do. Oh, well, you can you can always take the vote kicking off if you want. Uh, this is just the voting um, options. Uh, you can get like vote admin or vote vote kick. Uh, just yeah, if, if it's just you and your friends playing on there, then don't even bother with that. Don't, don't uh, mess with any of this either. You don't need that. Uh, the mission. Uh, we're going to click on the um, KP. Uh, Liberation Altus, uh, missions, we don't need to do anything in there, this one we don't need to do anything, don't need to do anything in here, and we don't need to do anything in here either. So we're going to go back to the original tab, the details tab, we're going to hit save again, so then it saves the um, mission file that we've um, selected. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to hit the uh, launch button down here. Uh, we're going to hit the launch, obviously I'm going to start up my game as well, so go ahead and start your Steam, um, Steam, your armor free, <laughs> and here we go right so this is going to tell you up here and um, this is the box from the um, from Tadas where it's going to come up with this one now with your bit defender saying about um, blocking it in the firewall or allowing it uh, you need to allow this obviously and just go ahead and um, yeah just click it <laughs> allow it right so we're going to start up um, armor And we're going to wait a second for it to load. Ah, oh, shit. I haven't... Um, right, yeah, sorry guys. Right. We'll just... Um, I'm going to have to get back out of um, armor. I don't think it'll work because um, I haven't relaunched my Steam. This is what I forget to do all the time. So make sure you re-log back into your Steam, guys. Or else I don't think it works. Uh, just... Bear with me because it might work on the off chance because it's on the home server. Oh, you never know. Obviously, it's just a picture of Tenor on the background. Um, yeah, that that will change. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work because it's um, have to be locked myself. Right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to just close down the um, close down your Steam. And we're going to get out of Steam. Right, and we're going to reopen Steam. Wherever my Steam's going to reopen to. Ooh, it's going to ask me for my passwords. Uh, obviously, put your passwords in, whatever they are. And your, uh, your Steam Guard as well, if you have that. It's loading up now. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to relaunch it all back again. 
extra annoying guys, I know. <laughs> Alright, so. Blows on the screen. Alright, so technically we don't need this. Alright, wait for it to load up in. Obviously, like it, like I said before, it shows up up here. What port you're using and uh, UPMP um, installed. Um, so then, obviously, other people can um, get get on your server. Um, it was saying here who's connecting and stuff. And yeah, right. Hold on, guys, and we will go into the map, and you'll be able to see what's there. Well, we're on 15 and a half minutes. Well, guess you guys need to see if it works or not, so, hey, stuck around this amount of time, then, right, here we go, so, right, so it's coming up with the name, um, it'll always show as two on your end, um, this is only um, your end, uh, if, if your friends are joining you and stuff, um, it will just be one, um, I don't know why it comes up with two, I'm, I ain't got a clue. But just just go ahead and click on one. It doesn't matter which one you use. It doesn't matter about the ping because the ping's going to go right down to about one anyway, because um, it's on your home network, and it's the ping that you you're going to see it as. So it, it'll end up dropping right down. But yeah, just go ahead and click on one, and yeah, it should start loading up. There we go. Right. So we've got commander slots. We've got um, platoon sergeants. We've got team leader. Obviously, your commander slot is your Zeus, which I will show in a different video how to get that working. Um, but yeah, if we just go ahead and use that one anyway, and load up, obviously press um, the OK button, and then it should start receiving the mission file in a second. Uh, up here is the parameters bar, but you can't change the parameters um, this way through this tab. Um, we have to change the parameters a different way, which I will show you in the next video, because um, it's a bit different from doing it through your actual the normal way, should I say. I just like setting up the servers this way so then you have a bit more control over it with um, it being on regularly and um, you know people can just join join it you know if you if you're if you don't want to play the game and stuff because obviously you, if you go through the armor free then you will um, you will have to be in game with people and you'll have to leave your armor free open constantly whereas this way using Tadas and stuff, um, it's just normal, you can just leave it on and people can join whenever they want and yeah. Alright, so as you can see, um, you get a cinematic view of um, the aircraft carrier and we are in Altus, so right, here we go, it'll always come up with that box, I don't know why, it's something about cup or something. Um, here if you've got any loadouts or anything, which you probably haven't, then um, yeah, you'll just, uh, just click on the operation base. So we're going to click on that. It's going to do this nifty um, thing. We can take away this um, part as well. We'll do that in the next video. So you don't have a cinematic view. You can just, just get straight in there and get in the action. Um, right, but yeah. So obviously you're going to press um, enter. Uh, you, If you use your scroll wheel, head down to permissions because you're in the commander slot. Um, you will need to um, give people permissions and stuff. Uh, I think I'll talk about that in a different video, but yeah, as you can see, everything's working. Um, yeah, it's all working, guys. I'm in the map. If we scroll out, there you go. You can see all the missions, shitloads on there. Got loads to do. Right, guys. So, as you can see, it's all working fine, and that's how you get it working. <laughs> I don't know what else I can say about that. <laughs> But right, anyway guys, I um, hope you've enjoyed, um, if you did, give it a um, thumbs up, uh, if you didn't, then give it a thumbs down, um, uh, like always guys, uh, ha happy for any donations, uh, the link for that is at the top of the page on the right, and I shall see you in the next video guys, um, but yeah, see you later guys.